Hi, this is just uh, the Chrome Buster here. Uh, I'm on with an, for another update, actually. Uh, this video was actually inspired by YouTube user someone7089. Um, really, really cool. Uh, he does some real cool stuff. Uh, if you haven't watched his channel, I would highly recommend it. But, I'm not really filming anything particular. I'm just going to be talking here. This is actually... Uh, in regards to my website, it's actually back up. Um, it's actually back up, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, I'm very happy about that. But there's just a single, single note to IIS administrators out there. Whatever you do, when you run a website, make sure that you have a good look at your um, configuration files. I mean... Seasoned web admins should know this, and to be honest, if I had any brains, I would know this as well. But I apparently don't, so hence this happened, and it caused a rather nasty disconnect, because I didn't check the configuration files, um, and silly me somehow managed to get the... Um, database disconnected from the web application. I don't understand um, I don't understand how this happened. Uh, I don't think anyone involved actually understands how the heck this happened, but it did. And um, so I spent five days trying to troubleshoot it. Uh, I was running SQL script after SQL script and it was absolutely horrible because nothing was working and it was just ridiculous. And eventually, after five days, I just said, you know what, this, is, this isn't working. And so, uh, that's what happened. I had to, you know, I had to entirely take everything down and rebuild it. So, because it just wasn't working. Which was just absolutely awful, and I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. But I do know, um, you know, just a tip for people: if you if you haven't checked your ASP.NET configuration files, you should, because <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, because, you know, you should just make sure that if you're using forms-based authentication, don't disable it. It's just gonna... It's just gonna make you end up having to pull down your entire website. I would not... I would not recommend that if you can help it. Anyway, this is the Chrome Buster, signing out.